A baby's arrival is such a wonderful occasion and usually results in several surprises. The sensation of a mom delivering a baby almost 19 pounds went beyond simple surprise. The following occurred. Amanda had been looking forward the arrival of her kid at the hospital early that morning. After roughly 40 weeks, newborns are usually ready to greet the world, but it seemed her little one needed more time. The time has arrived despite the protracted wait. But it soon became evident that something was wrong. The circumstances were not what Amanda had expected. For years Amanda and her husband had yearned for a child. Their path had been challenging, dotted with pain and letdowns. When they learned Amanda was pregnant, they were almost ready to give up. The news made them very happy since it turned their faraway wish of having a child from a dream into a lovely reality. Amanda and her husband were getting ready for their much-awaited baby with eagerness and expectation. Everything looked to be going as the pregnancy proceeded. Routine visits verified the baby was a male and in good health, so there were no initial concerns. But the normal indicators of approaching labor, such as more fetal activity and pelvic discomfort, did not show up as the weeks passed. Still, Amanda stayed calm since she was pregnant for the first time. Though the expected 40-week period passed and there was still no indication of labor, it was meant to be a different experience. Given Amanda's past disappointments, her mounting concern was difficult to dismiss. Having lost others before, she worried losing this baby. The doctors stayed comforting even if she had worries. Although the nine-month mark passed without any indications of labor, they gave her images showing the infant seemed to be doing well and recommended her to be patient. Trusting in the natural course of the pregnancy and thinking the baby will arrive in its own time, the medical team chose not to cause labor. At last the much-expected day arrived. Her water broke as Amanda and her husband were passionately talking about the name they had already decided upon for their child. This was remarkably the eleventh month of her pregnancy, indicating that their baby was due to be born. Amanda was hurried straight to the hospital, and labor started. But as labor advanced, problems surfaced. Concerned by the baby's apparent size above average, the medical team debated the appropriate course of action, that of either continuing a normal birth or choosing a cesarean section. The physicians opted to go with a natural delivery despite the possible hazards since they believed Amanda's strength would help her to manage the matter. But the delivery veered off course and grew convoluted, running for an hour. Fearing that the baby's weight would compromise Amanda's life, the doctors and nurses got more and more worried for her welfare. The atmosphere grew so strained that nurses, expecting the worst, were writing condolences for the father. Something amazing happened when it looked that a terrible result was only waiting. Against all the odds, the infant came out of the difficult delivery unhurt, therefore transforming the anxiety in the room into pure delight. Amanda and her family as well as the medical staff were in wonder of this surprising turn of events, but when the baby's features became clear, this relief soon changed to shock. Though nothing equipped them for what they witnessed, the medical staff had expected a baby above average, at an amazing 18 pounds. Amanda seemed to have delivered a toddler instead of a baby. Amanda was stunned by the baby's enormous weight. She felt as though she were toting a big bag of cement surfaced looks between doctors and nurses as they tried to comprehend the scope of what they were seeing. Though highly experienced, they had never seen a newborn of such weight, hence they were briefly mute. In among the shock, one felt respect for Amanda's tenacity, her strength and the amazing ability of the human body were highlighted by her carrying and delivering of such a huge baby, which was quite amazing, though first shocked. There was surprise and appreciation for the just occurring miracle. Amanda's body had suffered great harm even if her survival was remarkable. She needed many stitches to be healed. Once the initial shock passed, the medical team rapidly tested and examined the newborn to find whether his exceptionally big size caused any issues. The physicians had to figure out why the infant weighed so much. But despite their medical knowledge they were unable to identify a particular cause for his remarkable weight. The medical community nowadays still finds great mystery around this. It's interesting to note that giving birth to unusually huge kids is not a recent problem. There have been cases of very huge newborns making news throughout history. For instance, in 1897, in Canada, during a period when medical progress was significantly less advanced than it is now. Anna Bates gave birth to a baby who weighed an incredible 20 pounds. Let's fast forward to 1955 and another amazing birth in Italy, a 22-pound baby. The baby's life was sadly cut short, even though it was first celebrated. He died in less than a month. One of the biggest newborns in European history was born in this instance. A baby weighing 16 pounds was born in Texas in 2013. 
this is a more recent example, mother and child not only lived but thrived against all chances. Even though the birth carried major dangers, but even with our growing understanding of pregnancy and delivery, the causes of these newborns' extraordinarily enormous sizes are still unknown. Doctors are curious to solve the riddles behind these uncommon occurrences, but they are also intrigued by the lack of a definitive explanation. Thankfully, the scan revealed that despite the baby's enormous size, his health was okay, despite the pain of delivery. Amanda adored and accepted him and gave him the name Andrew, but Amanda was particularly concerned by the fact that only one kid survived the three cases of huge birth weight that were previously discussed. Even with the relief of Andrew's survival, Amanda's heart and intellect were troubled by this reality. She was unable to get rid of her concern. She was beginning to worry about the future and health of her child. Amanda's significant tearing during delivery necessitated several stitches for optimal healing, making her rehabilitation a drawn-out process. For a comprehensive assessment and care, baby Andrew had to remain in the hospital in the meantime. His stature might make it difficult for him to breathe and put stress on his essential organs, but preliminary testing revealed he was in good health. Andrew's first month of life was crucial, and his survival required constant observation from the medical staff. For a newborn, even slight issues could have deadly consequences. Weeks passed with Andrew exhibiting no serious issues. His loud cries and steady heartbeats started to allay the physician's initial worries. The physicians were no longer concerned when Andrew celebrated his second month of life because there were clear signs of improvement. They told Amanda and her husband that although large weight babies frequently experience difficulties in the beginning, they usually recover fully after a month. When Amanda learned that baby Andrew was prepared for discharge, she was ecstatic. She and her spouse expressed gratitude to the medical staff for their treatment and praised their baby's advancement, but Amanda didn't know that she was having too early of a celebration. Andrew was on the verge of becoming a minor celebrity by the time he was released. An amazing picture of the moment the 18-pound baby was born was taken by one of the doctors who had played a crucial role in Amanda's extraordinary journey. The doctor posted the picture online and it became widely popular very fast. People were shocked, and although some speculated that it might have been altered, others quickly realized that the baby's amniotic fluid and umbilical cord remained, confirming its realness. Millions of people saw the genuine birth moment photo that went viral on social media. There was a lot of excitement in this remarkable birth because of the doctor's abilities and the story of resiliency that captured people's attention. The mother and baby's privacy were respected as the doctor disclosed pertinent information. Many people praised Amanda's bravery and the doctor's skill in overcoming the obstacles in the stream of comments. Still, amid the compliments, a few unfavorable remarks surfaced. The intricacy of the delivery caused others to argue against going with a C-section. There were others who suggested that having surgery would have been a safer option, possibly saving Amanda's life and health from dangers. The topic of trusting natural processes versus choosing medical interventions was brought up by this internet argument. For baby Andrew, there were still issues in his life. His health suddenly worsened shortly after he was released from the hospital. After only one week in the hospital, his condition quickly worsened. His parents became concerned and hurried him back to the hospital when he started to pant and have breathing difficulties. He was put on oxygen because the situation was so bad. His lungs were being compressed by the weight of his chest. Amanda couldn't help but feel guilty for rejoicing too soon after such a scary moment. Her unborn child appeared to be in grave danger after all that had transpired. Andrew, the baby, miraculously survived after days of weeping, praying, and going without food. After initially thinking he wouldn't make it past the first week, even the doctors were taken aback. Even while Andrew's parents were relieved beyond measure by his recovery. It was a sobering reminder that their ordeal was far from finished. Their adorable little one was about to face a world of health challenges. Amanda, her husband, and their newborn son Andrew had numerous difficulties in the years that followed. Their time spent in and out of the hospital was tremendous, as was the money spent on medications and diagnostic procedures. The most terrifying part was when Andrew's third birthday, which had been going swimmingly, took a tragic turn. When Andrew passed out, his parents were understandably worried. The medical staff at the hospital promptly determined that he was suffering from hypoglycemia, a disorder characterized by critically low blood sugar levels in newborns. Hypoglycemia can be caused by a number of things, such as metabolic problems or an overproduction of insulin. Symptoms can vary from restlessness and tremors to 
in extreme situations, seizures or even loss of consciousness. It was distressing for Amanda and her husband to see their little baby in such a vulnerable state, despite their best efforts. Andrew's third birthday became a living nightmare as they worried they might lose him forever, his parents realized they had to find a long-term solution to protect their son from future health complications as his condition grew more precarious, while Andrew's health struggles persisted, Amanda endured restless nights and continual anxiety. Everyone was on high alert and worried all the time because Andrew's condition was unpredictable, their son Andrew had a terrifying episode on his third birthday, and ever since then, she and her husband have been focused on finding ways to help him stay healthy, in order to guarantee his ongoing health, they did not waste any time in consulting with specialists, they sought the counsel of a nutritionist, who offered vital insight into meeting Andrew's specific requirements. Three important principles were presented by the dietitian. First, she emphasized the significance of controlling one's portion sizes, she stressed the need of keeping track of how much food is consumed at each meal in order to prevent overfeeding, as part of Andrew's ongoing care, determining suitable serving sizes became crucial, a change from big, irregular meals to smaller, more frequent ones was also recommended by the specialist. This strategy was developed to address Andrew's energy requirements in a way that encourages a healthy diet and discourages overeating, the family was also told by the dietitian to stay away from processed and sugary foods. They might help Andrew develop good eating habits early on by restricting or avoiding certain foods, which would reduce his calorie consumption. After considering these suggestions, Andrew's parents resolved to give their kid the finest care possible, in spite of everything. Amanda stuck to the expert's advice and devoted herself to Andrew's nutritional demands. They were resolute in their love for their son and refused to give up on him. Andrew was able to overcome the initial health issues that accompanied his arrival because of their devoted care and steadfast dedication. Now that he's six years old, Andrew is doing great. Andrew has done an incredible amount of weight loss despite being born at an incredible 18 pounds. He overcame the odds by paying close attention to his food, seeking professional counsel, and receiving the unwavering love and support of his parents. Andrew was born very heavy, but you would never know it looking at him now. His arrival was so remarkable that no larger kids have been born after then, making him even more unique. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's stories. See you next time.